you have a seat. Oh, oh you're please. being a gentleman. I like well, it. Well, ladies first, later day. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it, you're here in person this time. I know, I know. It's the first time for everything. The first time I was doing that little COVID parole situation. I know so we I all had to home. do it. The Zoom, the Zoom interviews. You know, I hated Zoom. I know, I'm but here's so the glad. question. Did you, were you wearing pants? Because I always had like, I literally had a blouse on and then it was like my yoga pants. See, I was very afraid that the tilt always get me because my house, I had to figure out how to tilt the computer. Yeah. So I knew if I wasn't wearing pants, my dog would walk by and everybody would see the round brown. Yeah. So yeah. I had to, I had the blankets, I had everything. I think I just didn't care. No. I just didn't care. <laughs> I was so comfortable in my Nikes. So I was like, yes, I love this half no. up job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that was comfy, but the no pants, that's how you lose your job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or gain a whole new audience. A whole um, new audience. Yeah. <laughs> so you actually have a musical background. I didn't know this. You were a DJ for like years. Uh, when I was a kid, my cousin uh, had a record label and I was a, I wanted to be a rapper, so I was DJing, and I bought all these records, and I took my dad's records, and I was a DJ. Yes. You're like a real DJ. I was like a, I was real a record. Scooch, scooch. Yeah. Yes. yes, yes That's yes, like yes, real yes. DJ. Real. We didn't yeah. even have computers back then. Remember? Yeah. This was before cell phones. I know. That's now they just plug now it in. Now they just plug it in and hit yeah. a button, and everybody jump around. But now nah, yeah. we had to. Yeah. You know, we had the It was boards. like a real art form. Yeah, That's yeah, like yeah. hard to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Were you, what was your like DJ name? What? Oh, I was, no. I was the Wanderer. The DJ Wanderer. <laughs> Now, that, yeah, could, I used to kill that it. could mean like many things. I know, that's what I'm saying. It's a whole archetype of different ways okay, to Okay, I travel. like it, okay. Because sometimes I'll do like the old school, and when I do the new school, I'll do hip hop, I'll do funk, I'll do uh Oh, you like a eclectic. wide variety, that's I what, yeah. I wandered through the crates. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah, see what I'm saying? I thought about this. I, I was about thinking it. about the song, The Wanderer. No, 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 I never heard around, that. around, around. Yeah, see, and I thought that was a different vibe, that name, yeah. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. I was no, like, I don't you know if I like LL Cool J with the Beatles. Yeah, that's cool. Crazy. C crazy. <laughs> I love that. I, I'm a big fan of not limiting yourself to one genre. I think I that's agree. cool. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I agree. It's a lot of fun. Everything is influenced by everything, I feel like. Everything. But yeah. if you can get, like, funny story. When I was in high school, uh, Michael McDonald was doing a show love. in North Carolina. Yeah. So I was like, oh, man. That dude, he a member of the Doobie Brothers. Yeah. So me and my roommate go to the show, and this old white dude comes out, and he's like, oh, I'm a yeah. I'm like, man, this is a cover band. He goes, no, that's Michael McDonald. Oh, my God, you didn't know he was. I thought they were the Doobie <laughs> Brothers. <laughs> Not the Doobie Brothers. Oh, my God, that's incredible. Yo. Mind blown. It was very hurtful. But were you kind of like at the same time, like, this dude is killing it. I, I, to this day, all I want to do is do a song with him. Oh my God, he's got an incredible voice. He's amazing. But he's I love amazing. that though. Video did kill the radio star because it's like you just listened instead of song. And his voice yeah. has so much soul. Yeah. And who don't like the Doobie Brothers? Yeah. Like you put some Run DMC in the Doobie Brothers? Yeah. Come. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Is it true, speaking of artists, is it true that Busta Rhymes is why you became an actor? <laughs> Busta has had a long uh, uh, Look at influence. this picture. I love that this is your <laughs> <laughs> That's your inspiration. I love so it. When I was 12 years old, there was one of the best shows ever on TV. On TV was this Arsenio Hall show. Hello. So ooh, ooh, me and my ooh. mom, right. Yeah, I'm the my same mom, age, I think. We would yeah. always sit on the floor and watch, because we have a floor model TV, right? So yeah. we sit on the floor and watch Arsenio Hall. Yeah. And Leaders of the New School was on Arsenio Hall. Uh. So Bust, they were performing Scenario. Buster comes out to do his verse, and he has on a Dr. Seuss hat. Sure. And he goes, powerful impact, boom, goes the cannon, and his hat goes, Brrr! and literally, the entire audience goes crazy. Like, Arsenio Hall runs off the stage, the cameras are shaking, like, we're in our living room, like, hold and my mom's standing in the back, it was in, it was, and I, I was like, mom, I want to be that guy. I love that that's what you said. <laughs> and I was like, I want to be that guy affects change. I want to yeah. be that guy. Yeah. And then I met him and I was like, you're that guy. <laughs> that's awesome. Mine was uh, Mariah. Her first performance was Arsenio. Right. And I was sitting there going, I want to do that. I want to do yeah. that. She Arsenio. sang Vision of Love and I oh. was like, she killed it. Yeah. She killed it. I miss Busta's. I'm going to Google that tonight. Yo, it is the craziest show you've ever seen. I love that. Tore okay. up the studio. So I can't let you be here without asking you, like, one question. Okay, so can you tell us anything about the new Captain America? Ironically enough, I got my script today. 
This is the sign. Like today, I sign. literally, I'll show you the email. I got my script today. Haven't okay. read it, haven't opened it. Okay. Oh my I haven't gosh. got my passcode to the website that if lets you need me a into the website. I will read it for you. <laughs> so, we literally get a passcode to a website that gives us a location to meet the person to sign, like to sit with a computer and read our script. Wow. They don't trust y'all. They don't trust <laughs> nobody. Oh and it's always Wait. like some 21-year-old intern, and he just hates you. You know, he's sitting there <laughs> eating Cheetos, and he's like, read faster, you know? And I'm like, I'm dyslexic, and he's like, I don't care. Like, it's, oh, it's a whole thing. Oh, it's wait, a... are you dyslexic? Yeah. Oh, my daughter Everybody's is. dyslexic. No, 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 my, I, no, that's interesting. My, my daughter, like, literally was crying the other night because she can't keep up. She's dyslexic, and they just kind of figured it out, and she was really? having... And I was telling her that a lot of artists, actually, so many actors Our brain and musicians... Works differently. And that's yeah. what I told her. I was like, it's special, though. You see it differently. It's just that most of humanity sees it one way. That doesn't make it wrong. 100%. But it's so cool. I love and... that freaking Captain America's <laughs> dyslexic. I can't, I can't wait to tell her that. You don't but, understand. She but... was crying. That's She's... what got me into acting. I, you know, teachers are the most important foundation of American yeah, my culture. My mama was a teacher. Yeah, your yeah. mama, wonderful. Yeah. She's a foundation. She's yeah. a pillar. Yeah. And <laughs> I had this teacher named Miss Dorsey. And Miss Dorsey, I was making straight A's and B's. I couldn't figure out English. Like, C spot run. I didn't even know spot was in a race. Yeah. Right? No, yeah, yeah. And she was like, you know, we just need to find something to pique your interest, make reading interesting. Yeah. And then she gave me this whole program and... All of a sudden, Click. I'm reading Shakespeare, I'm eating, reading Ibsen, I'm eat, reading Chekhov, I'm reading all this different stuff and it's making sense. Like reading with comprehension made sense yeah. when the stories were made interesting. Yeah. Like me, 44. I hated history when I was in school. Now history is the most interesting thing on the planet to me. Yeah. So you just have to find a way to make it interesting and those kids will unlock something and focus on it. And, and comprehension, they're like learning how they, you know, it's just, it's such a process. And then yeah. I didn't know that there were many different forms of dyslexia too, but yeah. it's just cause I never went through anything with that with any of my friends, but it's interesting. I love that you talk about it because like that kind of stuff really empowers young kids. Y'all yeah. are their heroes and then they hear that and they're like, wait, like, then I'm cool, too. Like, you don't know yeah. what kind of impact. I'm going to totally cry. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I need to... It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. <laughs> I like... I was just, it sucks to see your kid, like, struggle, I you struggle, know? Struggle, yeah. But the great part about that is with your daughter struggling when she comes out of that, yeah. she's going to be ten times stronger. She and is, because she has to do all these therapies, like these right, the extra exactly, tutoring exactly. things. Yeah, and yeah. I used to, I had to do so many programs where they would sit me down and read and yeah. do this and break down and do all that. So I had to learn the way around my dyslexia. Yeah. So by the time I, I got to college, like I figured out a way how my reading worked and how my reading was different than everybody else's. Yeah, but it wasn't you know? wrong, it was just different. No, it was just yeah. me with a card like this. That's what my daughter had to have to do. I know, we have to do that too. I just think it's really cool. I, you're also cool too because I know that you've been a big supporter. You're from New Orleans and I right. think it's really cool that you're actually doing something special with the city, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I uh, partner with uh, GAF. Yeah. And um, we're going around the southeast regions and we're removing blue tarps. So you have all these houses after the storms come through and they put tarps on the houses to stop from leaking. So GAF has given me the option. And my dad was a roofer. I've been doing this since I was 12 years old. Believe you me. <laughs> it's, it's not far, yeah. you know? So you get to get up, go up on these roofs and uh, replace, uh, put, give people new roofs after the storms because there's so many houses that you fly into the southeast and it's just blue tarps everywhere. It's a sea of them. Yeah. And ironically enough, the video they just, show, just showed, I had never met this man before. You know, he was selected through the process to do his house. Come to find out, he was the dude who sold my dad the property to build the house that I grew up in. What kind of small world was yeah. that? And he lives around, he literally was sitting there like this, right, not saying nothing. He looks at me, he go, Mackie. I'm like, yeah, he go, you Mackie from over there by the bridge? I said, yeah, he was like, I sold your daddy that land. I'm like, what? And when he told me the whole story, and literally it blew my mind. Like, I, you never know what your parents, like, do for you. Yeah. You never know the sacrifices they make, the things my dad did for me to be sitting here. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, you know, I kind of joke about it and this and that, but to hear this dude tell this story, yeah. like, it put the whole GAF thing into perspective. 
And the fact that I was just able ownership. to go back and do it. Like, yeah. I grew up in rentals, like my family, we, yeah. nobody owned anything. So the fact that that's an amazing thing to yeah. own something, you know, that's yeah. what everybody, you know, buy dirt, that's what everybody <laughs> says. Yeah, that's what everybody says in the South. So, right. but your, your new movie is called We Have a Ghost. I want to talk about ghost. it because it's it's not the typical ghost story. Yeah. Right? No, it's, it's different. It's, it's, it's a ghost with heart. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this family moves into a house and they find out that they have a ghost. Yeah. And this kid who's kind of like, you know, growing through growing pains and puberty, him and the ghost become friends, and he try, he goes on this whirlwind adventure with the ghost to figure out why this ghost is stuck in this house. Yeah, I love that. Look at that, I did well. <laughs> Hi, guys. So you're from, <laughs> wait, you're from New Orleans, and I feel like, I, first of all, I love New Orleans. Anytime we tour there, it's just a cool city. Mm -hmm. I love it. So much culture, great food. Right. Um, and great end of tour parties, by the way. Um, <laughs> but um, it's, it's, it's a pretty haunted place, though. There's like it some is. spooky stuff. That can, I, so growing up there, did you ever experience anything? No, I will say this. I do believe in ghosts. Um, I, my house was built in the 1860s. Wow. So when I first moved in, and my brother, see? My brother, when he first came to my house, because my house was, I like, had to renovate it and I'm working in it. He comes in, he walks all the way to the back of the house. He looks in the yard and there's a swing in the yard. Yeah. And one of the swings is just doing that. There's no wind. And no it's, one's in it. It's, it's just doing that. No. So I come back and I'm like, yo, what you doing? My brother go, Caroline on that swing. And I'm like, why would you say that? Why, is it her name? How do you know her name? Oh no. So we talk, and he's standing there, he keeps looking out the window, like on some poltergeist type stuff. Yeah, right? I know. So I'm like, yo, bro, you gotta go, I gotta get back to work. So he leaves, he comes back the next week, and he goes, that swing ain't stopped swinging, huh? Bet, went downstairs, got my saw, zzz. <laughs> bye bye, Caroline. Bye bye, Caroline, find a new swing. Oh my God.